afternoon. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Welcome to rainy Manchester. The weather forecast uh, last week promised that we were going to have a heat wave this week. Well, if this is their idea of a heat wave, it's certainly not mine. Uh, no. <laughs> it's raining. Yeah, Gigi's around somewhere, but he's, uh, as you can tell by the hairs on my top. <laughs> um, oh, the camera looks like it's pointing upwards a bit high. Hope you can get me in. Let me just see if I can lower it a little. Ooh, is that better? Now you're probably looking at... <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at, anyway. Uh, we'll start off with a que uh, an answer to a question, not a question. Um, Sue, I'm so glad you got your shawl and that you love it. Um, the answer to what you asked me for, I think the hook I used on this was um, a 6mm, I think. But bear in mind I'm quite a firm crocheter, or crocheter, <laughs> depending on how you pronounce it. So, you know, that could influence out what you... And it still didn't turn out with much of a curve on it, although there is like a little slight curve. It was supposed to be a curved <laughs> granny square. Granny, sure, not granny square, Johnny. Whoa. I don't know where I left my teeth. I think I must have left them in the bathroom when I cleaned them. Um, granny stitch, sure. It was supposed to be curved like that. But I obviously skip red the pattern. Yes, it happens to us all, don't it? You know me, know it all, thinks I'm fine, I can do this pattern. And then I get so far and think, it's not curving, why is it not curving? And then to discover I've read the pattern wrong and I should have been alternating two rows. <laughs> now I was just doing the same row. But I'd got so far into it that I thought, I'm not actually taking it apart, you know. I thought, I'll live with the mistake. So it's turned out okay, considering that's not how it's supposed to look. It's turned out okay. Still got no fringe on the bottom of it. Bags have still not got the lining on because uh, Gigi's here and Gigi loves a lot of attention. And to be quite honest, I love giving it to him because I don't see him as often as I used to. So I just love giving him cuddles, lots and lots of cuddles when he's here. I thought I heard him coming then, but he's not. Um, what was I doing then last night? I was progressing. It's now got the bottom edge on it now, the peplum bit, if you can see it. Peplum edging. And I'm just starting, I've just chained up for the sleeves. The sleeves go outwards like that. And obviously I've got to do the neckline. But that's how it's progressing, which I'm... Uh, quite happy with the way that it's crocheting up. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know about you, but this wet weather's not playing havoc with my arthritis. My poor little knees are going... Uh, my funny story. I went to bed last night thinking, I've got to get up for Gigi. No lying in tomorrow. Set the alarm. Got to get up for Gigi. So I woke up and I looked at the clock and I thought, oh, I've overslept. I thought, oh, God, I hope they've not been knocking on the door and I've been in the land of a nod. So I gets my dressing gown on and comes downstairs. Quarter past seven. <laughs> I don't know what I thought the clock said upstairs. But obviously I wasn't focusing. Anyway, I was up then, so I thought, right, you know. And it's the garbage, the rubbish day tomorrow. So uh, I did me, you know, around the house, putting everything in the relevant bags, you know. We separate our, our stuff here. You know, you've got a bin for your paper, a bin for your tins and bottles and things. So I went round the house, like, gathering things together. Oh, we've got a bin for all the um, fruit and the veg and peelings and the garden stuff. And the gardener had been, like, and so there was long clippings and everything in there. So I did me good deed by gathering everything up. Wash the dishes. Yay! <laughs> when you live on your own, you tend to think, oh, there's only a couple of plates in the cup. I'll do them later. 
and then on day two you think oh there's only four plates or whatever and a couple of cups and or there may not be a couple of cups because you might have rinsed them out you know and made coffee with them and so I tend to sort of leave things until I've got enough to warrant <laughs> putting the hot water in the bowl yeah so I did that this morning yeah I haven't been back in the craft room the craft room is still an uh, absolute mess I did tidy up the fabric this morning and got it to go back in its little box and put the lid on it. Um, sorted out the lace and put that in a bag. And then I settled down to do my crochet, but uh, Gigi had other ideas. He wanted to sit on my chest, <laughs> you know, wrapped in his blankie for a little nod. And I must admit, I had a little nod as well. Well, you can do what you want when you're retired. This is one of the perks, isn't it? Being retired, not having to go to work, not having a well a schedule or a schedule as we call it in the UK. Um, you know, you just it's bad in some ways that because I just drift along during the day and there's always tomorrow. You know, I need to write myself little honey do lists. You know. But then I just look at them in the morning and think, no, I'll do them tomorrow. <laughs> so they don't work with me, absolutely don't work with me. As I've said before, I need that cattle prod, you know, with a bit of electricity going through it, going zip, 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 get something done, zip, zip. But I can't when it's like this weather. As I said, my arthritis plays up, everything creaks and groans. I am so looking forward to the sunshine and being able to go open the patio door, let the sunshine in. I don't care if it's a bit cold. I'll sit out there in my coat, just so long as it's not raining. I feel, I know it's not true, but I feel as though it's rained every single day this year. That's what it feels like to me, but I know it, it hasn't. I mean, there are some places in the south of England who've had nice weather, but uh, it hasn't drifted its way up north yet. <laughs> I mean, some places have even had snow. So I thought, I think it was Zoe had snow. But I don't know when Sue will be coming this, uh, this week. She did say she'd try to come this week, so we'll see what happens. I think Christina might come. She said she might help me to put the garments. It's not a question of putting the garments that I showed you away. It's a question of putting them in the right boxes. I think I said that. They're all higgledy-piggledy at the minute. Um, ready for when I can bring them downstairs and that sunny day, you know, that never comes. Uh, and then I can do a proper show and tell for you. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just keep on crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> and if Gigi's not here tomorrow, I am got my lace ready and everything. I am going to start on those lining those bags. But I mean, they're not finished when I've lined them. I've got to do the top and the sides, and you know, you'll see when I've finished them if you can wait that long. <laughs> They'll be done before Christmas. I promise you that. Yeah, definitely would be before Christmas. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. I just want some sun. Sorry to keep going on about it. For those of you who are baking in 80 degrees over there. Oh, I don't know what it is in Celsius because I don't work that way. I only work in Fahrenheit because that's the way I was brought up. I don't know however I converted to decimal. And you know I still convert it back. You know, if I see something that's like 75p, I'm thinking... 15 shillings for that. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll never get the old decimal, the old sterling out of my head, yeah. It's very difficult for people of an age when, you know, things change and that's the way you've been brought up all your childhood. You've been brought up with the pound shillings and pence and then all of a sudden one day somebody comes along and says, right, we're doing decimalization. And we're like, whoa, what's going on? You know, 
how come everything is to the power of 10 now when it used to be 12 because there used to be 12 pence in a shilling and now it's a 10p piece and there's only 10 pennies in Ugh. don't get me started my dad never got used to it he was always still converting it back again <laughs> you'd send him out for a pack of biscuits and he'd come back and say I'm not paying 10 shillings for a packet of biscuits <laughs> no way <laughs> uh, well I haven't really done a lot today um, I promised myself an early night last night and of course I didn't have one so that was why I was so flustered when I woke up this morning and thought it was 9 o'clock uh, I was quite relieved when I came down and found it was only quarter past seven, which gave me time to, to do most things. Didn't give me time to have a shower, of course, before Gigi came. I'll work that into the day somehow. Oh, here I go again. There's something about me in front of this camera that makes me want to go. So I'm not going to keep you long today. Um, was it Vader 17? I think it is today. For people who don't know what a Vader is, it's a vlog or a video every day in April or it can be August. That's what a Vader is. Um, I've been asked that a couple of times and I haven't replied to a lot of, um, a lot of questions yet. And Sue, if your shawl's looking a bit small, it's not been blocked and stretched as much as it must have because the weather's been so appalling. And I like to do all my blocking. I've got like the children's play mats. Uh, obviously, children don't play on them, you know, they clean play mats. Um, and I like to put them out on the, put four of them out on the table outside. Wash the shawl, soak it in a lot of fabric conditioner with the water. And then just squeeze most of the water out of it and then spread it as much as it will spread like that and put pins in it, you know. But unfortunately the weather's just not been conducive to doing that. And I don't have anywhere in the house that's sort of, well, I don't have a table big enough in the house to put it on. Some people pin it to their, you know, their carpet or the bedroom carpet or something like that. But when you have an animal, that's not a good thing to do because, you know, it doesn't matter how wet it might be. Your animal will want to sit on it. So uh, I <laughs> vetoed pinning on carpets a long time ago. <laughs> you can hoover all you wish. But if you put anything, even on a board on the carpet, those dog hairs come fluttering down from out the sky. <laughs> and it is multi the season at the moment, so... But actually Gigi's not doing too bad. His daddy's been giving him good brushes, so he's not been molting too badly at the moment. But some dogs. <laughs> Buster was oh, my late dog Buster. He was terrible. He didn't have a molting season. He just molted all year. You know, wherever you went to sit down, you always had to get the brush out before you sat anywhere. You had to hoover up and the hoover bag would be bulging like that with hair from the dog. From the amount of hair he lost, you would have thought he would be bald. And he didn't have long hair because he was a boxer cross with a staffy. And, um, you know, he only had the short, short hair. You know, you'll never have to have him. I had him washed, of course, and his toenails trimmed, but I never had to have him groomed, if you know what I mean. Because uh, there was nothing there to cut. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I fell in love with a little chihuahua yesterday. I don't know whether I told you or not. He was called Harry. And he made the Gigi look like a giant. He was a teacup chihuahua and he was so tiny. I thought he was a little pup, but he was a year old. But he was like black and tan colour, which um, they're not usual colours with a chihuahua. Well, I don't think they are anyway. And uh, although there's a black chihuahua that lives down the uh, the street. Well, it did. I haven't seen it for a bit. Maybe they've moved. Down the road from me are like um, flats or apartments, one on top of each other. There's like four in a little block. 
but they're very very tiny they're like starter you know homes really or uh, a single person on their own they don't hold families they're too small yeah and um, that's where he he or yeah it was a no it was a she that's right because she wanted to know if Gigi was a full male but you no know, Gigi's not a full male um, I don't think Gigi would know what to do anyway <laughs> <laughs> if it came to that uh, it came to the crunch yeah anyway I'm going to go now so I just didn't want to bore you with a long video about nothing and I've got nothing to say except I'm going to go in the front room now and if Gigi will let me I'm going to try and get this one finished off so nice summery colour isn't it does it suit me <laughs> I'm wearing black today, but I'm also wearing very jazzy trousers, so one complements the other, doesn't it? I've got floral trousers in. I don't know if you can see them or not. I don't think I can get my leg up that far. There, that's my floral trousers I've got on. So I'll put a black top on with it, just to... In this jewellery. Wouldn't be me, would it, without my necklace? Right. I'm going to leave you now because I'm fed up with this rain. So if you want to send me something, please send me sunshine. Just will it across, will you? Will this heat wave across? And now the central heating has just kicked in. For those of you that got good hearing. So it must be cold. <laughs> it's just switched itself on. Right. Said I'm going. So now I am. So I shall no doubt see you tomorrow, hopefully with a finished top. And uh, if I've started anything else, I'll let you know. Bye now.